Recording. Hello there, and welcome to this particular exercise. And this is all about PEE and PQA paragraphs. So PEE stands for point, and then we have evidence, and then we have explanation. Okay, so a lot of you will be covering this in school, and some of you may also do PQA. So point quotation, analysis, and explanation, and so on. So we've got two structures here, depending on what school you're in, and you may have a slightly different structure to this. So point evidence explanation or point quotation analysis. Let's go into this in a little bit more detail. Why do we use point evidence and explanation? Well, in our GCSE English exams in particular, and literature exams, um, the examiners have provided a structure that you always need to follow uh, in order to answer the questions effectively. Now, this is one of those structures, PEE or PQA. They're very similar to each other as well, all right? So let me just write this down here. So evidence could be also be qual quotations and explanation could also be the same as analysis. All right. So in your point, you first always have to make a point, because if there's a question, you've got to make that particular point so the examiner knows what you're what you're referring to. So first make a simple statement about what the writer is doing or what is happening in the particular text. Some keywords that you can possibly use start with the writer suggests that the writer shows this by using such and such and the writer describes this as and so on. All right. Now, the second stage is providing evidence for that particular point or a quotation. So give some evidence from the text to support this particular point. So that could be quoting from the text itself. And some of the keywords that you could use are, for example, for instance, in the third paragraph, and you could be a little bit more specific here, or the writer states on generalizes at such and such. Okay, so the evidence is very important because you're, when you're making a point, you have to substantiate it and back it up with some evidence from the text. And then we come to the final stage, which is explanation or analysis. Now here you explain how the writer's methods affect the reader. How does this actually affect you as a reader? How does it affect the reader in general? Explain how the keyword and techniques from the evidence help to get and make this particular effect. So once you've got the evidence, you have to go into much more detail and explain the <coughs> effects that this is having on the reader. And this how this makes the reader feel and what this actually shows in terms of the reference of the story, in terms of the point and the evidence. So explanation and analysis is all about going into depth, looking at the pros and the cons and how this actually affects the reader in terms of the, some of the techniques that are being used by the writer or the examiner themselves. So this is all about point evidence explanation or point quotations and analysis. And it's background structure for you to understand how to go about answering and how to lay out a paragraph. So in this particular um, exercise, you've got uh, the railway children, a small extract that you have to read, and then you practice your PEE technique straight after that. And in our next follow-up class, we're going to much more detail, where we will try and understand how this actually works and get some of your responses as well. Good luck with this.